Recently, we saw, we saw another major personnel shakeup in the Trump administration. H.R. McMaster is out as national security advisor, and he's being replaced by Geppetto cosplayer John <laughs> Bolton. <laughs> so, let's get to know the person who will advise President Trump on defense strategy in another installment of our recurring segment, Profiles in Tremendousness. I have the most dedicated people. I have the best people. Meet John Bolton, Trump's third national security advisor in little over a year. The good news is, one more national security advisor and Trump gets the fifth one for free! <laughs> now, if Bolton looks familiar to you, it may be because he's been on the Captain Crunch box for over 40 years. <laughs> or, or it may be because like most people Trump hires these days, you probably saw him on the TV. Joining us with reaction is former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, Fox News contributor John Bolton. Good evening, Ambassador. Here with reaction, Fox News contributor, former U.S. Ambassador to the U.N., John Bolton. John Bolton is being walked to the studio oh, by yeah, Steve Deason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what you can... Yeah. That's the look of a man who's either scared out of his mind or having the greatest orgasm of his life. I can't tell which, maybe it's both. <laughs> now, as you heard in those introductions, Bolton is more than just another Fox pundit, right? He served in three Republican administrations, most recently as George W. Bush's ambassador to the United Nations. But don't be thrown off by his title as diplomat, because while Bolton may look like a harmless model train enthusiast, <laughs> he's developed a notorious rep as a guy who really wants to bomb everyone. The former U.N. ambassador recently calling a preemptive strike in North Korea perfectly legitimate. I don't think there are uh, any further diplomatic options in terms of trying to persuade North Korea to change its behavior. Our objective should be to overthrow the regime in Tehran. The Israelis should have uh, struck about three and a half years ago. You've written an op-ed today in the New York Times, and here's the headline. It's an eye-catcher. To stop Iran's bomb, bomb Iran. What do you mean? The earlier you strike, the more damage you can do. Damn. The earlier you strike, the more damage you can do. I think that's a horrible strategy for keeping peace in the world. Although it is a great strategy for tackling an all-you-can-eat buffet, you know? <laughs> it's like, come on, the earlier you strike, the more damage you can do, yeah! They put the good fish out first, yeah! <laughs> Look, the point is, John Bolton is ready to throw down with anyone at any time. He's basically Suge Knight if Suge Knight looked the opposite of Suge Knight. That's who he is. <laughs> and here's the best example of how war horny John Bolton is. He's still defending the one war that everyone agrees was a terrible idea. Bolton to this day a fierce defender of the U.S. military invasion of Iraq. I think the overthrow of Saddam Hussein, that military action was a resounding success. I mean, it destroyed the Middle East and brought us ISIS, but other than that, nailed it, am I right? <laughs> you know, something tells me that John Bolton would be a total nightmare at Jenga. He'd be like, what do you mean I lost? I got the block out perfect. It's like, yeah, but the tower fell down. I failed to see how these two are related. I don't get it. <laughs> oh, and if you think game nights with Bolton could be bad, try working with the man. Mr. Bolton also came under fire for his, his temperament, and more specifically, his temper. Carl Ford testified that he'd never seen anyone behave as badly in all his days at the State Department. Well, he got in trouble because he got in a fight in a hotel one night and chased some woman. He's been described as somebody who chases uh, subordinates around hotel rooms and throws staplers at them. God damn. Yo, this guy sounds dangerous. I hope that they arm all his stuff with river rocks. I really hope they do. <laughs> Really hope they do. So, congratulations, John Bolton, on your new position as National Security Advisor. Although, if you think about it, you would have probably had a better chance of Trump listening to you if you had just stayed on Fox News. That's it for the latest Trump administration staff shakeup. So, tune in as soon as maybe tomorrow for another Profiles in Tremendousness. I have the most dedicated people. I have the best people.